The city sees the highest rent increase across the country, and that's compared to the country's 50 largest markets. NBC 9's Brian Johnson is live with the new pressures that could force rents even higher. Brian. Yeah, Brian, well, the new study comes out before local property taxes are increased. This year, Jackson County announced assessments 30% higher than before. Get this, 90,000 properties are seeing a 50% increase or higher people who are about to sign a new lease could experience some sticker shock. Feel free to just walk on in. Okay. A two bedroom, two bath, thousand square foot condo on the plaza is open for rent. A linen closet. Air crew of Crew Realty manages more than 400 units. This year, the company turns 100. Since 1923, this is our 100th year. He says there are three big reasons. Your next lease could have a dramatic increase. Property tax, property insurance, the water bills in a common building. He says property insurance is up about 30%, plus the tax increases. Where a normal lease might go up $25, this year, he says, monthly rents will increase 45 to $100. They will get a bump at the end of their 12-month lease. He says most landlords try not to be aggressive. They want to maintain their renters and keep costs down. People who move could see even higher increases. Somebody moves out and they've been a long-time resident, then that rent really can jump up. Renters who stay long-term are often well below the current market. He says this unit with a pool and other perks will go fast. People got to live within their budget, plan ahead. Don't don't run yourself to the last dime. In Kansas City, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. Our prices for first time home buyers are also going up. A new study says a first time home buyer must earn about $64,000 to afford a typical starter home.